And let me switch it over the game. Here we are. Baz in the top representing Team Stream Cheaters as the Red Terran, his teammate Hack Day 6 in the right as the Orange Protoss. And we have uh, Last Second Alliance with Complexity Cats in the right, uh, bottom right, as the Teal Zerg. And his partner, Fnatic Rain, in the bottom as the Green Terran. Indeed. And this is actually a very interesting map, too, because, of course, with sp four spawn locations, uh, you see a lot of proxy barracks and proxy gates. We haven't actually seen too many recently, but uh, this is a map is very difficult. Um, you know, you can proxy in the center of the map. There's actually some line of sight blockers there that uh, could be can be pretty good. I don't believe the Zelnaga Watchtower actually sees in between those line of sight blockers, so... Uh, you know, it can be pretty good proxy there, but uh, otherwise, uh, it's very difficult to actually get any of those buildings super duper close to really benefit from. So, and of course, with the you know unified choke point, you really do. We, we, we I don't think we've seen a game here where it's just like one of those Ling Hellion all ins with nobody getting an expansion up. Yeah, and it looks from the looks of it, uh, Cats who normally starts out with an eleven pool, uh, he is building up drones to fourteen. I prefer 15, but we might just see a, uh, there's the 15th drone, a little bit late, and I almost, I'm almost positive we'll be seeing that expansion from Cats, and it makes sense, he is a Zerg player, and you know what, nope, no expansion here, a spawning pool and a drone scout going out, or something, the drone is doing something, have they uh, actually gone out to scouts? He knows where they are with the overload, there we go, now the drone is doubling back. <laughs> Going up to the northeastern location where his enemies are present, but no fast expansion, and I'm kind of upset because uh, if there's one map to fast expand on, this is it. Well, it's interesting. Last time, this is the map that uh, Cats and Rain lost on, and I remember saying we were talking about this very thing. It's like, yeah, it looks like Cats. You know, he's going up 15 drones. He should be throwing down his uh, hatchery pretty soon. And then he's like, no, I'm going to make a pool. And that's the way he does. And once again, Ling Speed. It's not very good. I mean, it gives you some map control here, but against the full wall off of Baz and Hack Six, it's just not going to be too effective. I'm really curious if if Rain. I mean, Rain is up at 400 minerals right now. I think he's going to be the one expanding, and uh, that's a little bit interesting. I mean, usually that Zerg player wants to get that expansion up. Obviously, a Terran player gets double mules, but the increased production and just the rate a Zerg player can actually make drones is uh, is highly advantage, highly advantageous. Yeah, and you made a great point. I mean, cats, speedlings with the wall off aren't going to be that effective. And cats already scouted a complete wall off with that first drone. Not even a single hole in this uh, wall off right here because, of course, Terran can just lower their supply depot. But uh, he's still. Actually, you know what? He started his speed and he canceled it. So maybe, same mindset as us, we are that good at ABC. He is going for that fast <laughs> layer. Possibly summon festers. Yeah, and I mean, it just didn't it didn't work very well last time, though, so fortunately for him, there's no Overlord that is, like, right outside his base, ready to fly in to see it this time, but of course, against a Terran player, a scan is very likely, and especially when you see that pool going down, as well as the gas, it's like, you really expect uh, the Zerg player to be the one expanding, so you really do want to keep tabs on him, so I'll be kind of surprised if... At some point, you know, within the next couple of minutes, we don't see a, a scan coming up from Bass. We'll try and check up in on uh, on what ca what bat or what Cats is doing because it's so important to know your opponent's unit composition here. Yeah, and with that second orbital command, which is on the way, he can definitely afford a scan. Yeah. Uh, the the layer is almost complete. I I expect to see that uh, infestation pit and maybe even a feed from Fanatic Rain. I would be surprised to see a couple quick geysers on this expansion down here. I'm going to keep an eye on that. And down goes the infestation pit, and we're seeing a robotics facility from Hack Day 6. Now, uh, I think this is going to lead to Colossi, maybe just observers, because they know the kind of tricky play that uh, Katz is capable of. Yeah, it's, it's certainly possible. I feel like Colossus are definitely in the works, though. Um, you know what I'd love to see from Katz? I'd love to see the infestation pit, head, pit, head, head, <laughs> head. I would like to see it hidden somewhere, just with an Overlord vomiting creep, you know, maybe in the corner, just in a, it, just not right beside. And yeah, I, there it is. There's the scan in Katz's main base. So right as that infestation pit finishes, they know exactly what's up. And one base infester like Katz, I mean, just go make another base. And it looks like actually Rain is going to be the one making another base. So it's kind of bizarre. Maybe they're saying, okay, Katz and Rain say, all right, game number one here. Uh, Katz is going to do all the expanding, he's going to do all the macroing, and then game number two, 
Uh, Rain is going to be doing all the expanding because he's hiding a base in that uh, bottom left corner there, although Kat's also sending a, a drone too, so it looks like he's not just going to sit on one base, and uh, uh, thank God for that. Yeah, they're just having fun. You know, first game, I'll just make all the bases. Second game, you can do all the work. I'll just I'll just micro my little batch of infestors here, have some fun with that, and you can just go win the game for us. But uh, this, is, this is extremely unusual. I cannot believe we're seeing five bases already from Rain and Katz. Katz taking one in the uh, right above Rain's third base. But what's he going to do to take the most advantage of uh, these so many bases? Just mass bio, do you think? Ba mass bio tank? Uh, what would you do in this position? Yeah, I feel like just straight up mass bio. But uh, the problem is, it's actually, he's going to be up against Colossus. And he did drop a scan, so he sees that it's Colossus. So I feel like bio with a fast second reactor starport would uh, be a pretty good choice and ooh, look at that he's actually making a second starport i just feel so smart right now because uh straight bio would, would really get absolutely wrecked so uh, this is definitely looking uh, pretty good meanwhile this observer actually a little too far away doesn't see these drones getting transferred now actually moving it a little bit but uh, he missed the drone transfer and if he had seen that oh okay he's gonna see the second wave of the there drone transfer is. so and uh, that's actually a huge tail this might trigger a little bit of a a little bit of a timing attack coming out there. We do have that uh, thermal lance game started. The first Colossus is out. And I will also point out this uh, Ghost Academy, which is uh, obviously a response to the, uh, which one is the, the Infestors. I would love to see some nukes. I have a feeling he's just going to be sticking to the EMPs. Probably won't even bother with cloaking, but uh, I'm allowed mm -hmm. to dream, aren't I? And you are. Here we are seeing a couple Infestors from Cats moving out and... Uh, not seeing any move out from uh, Hack Day 6 Team Stream Cheaters right now, considering they did see that drone transfer, as you mentioned earlier. And if only they knew that there was also an SCV, or also a command center, rather, down in the bottom left, they would be panicking a little bit more. But uh, actually, speaking of, they are moving out a bit. Katz knows exactly what's going on. And if he can drop some fungals on those Marines, that's going to be pretty huge. Even Neural Parasite on the way. Yeah, and he might be able to ninja into the main base as well. The Observer is still sitting at the choke point, but I don't think they're really going to be ready to notice. However, this impending attack is going to be uh, pretty scary. Katz does have uh, Neuroparasite ready to deal with this, but uh, nice fungal going there. And uh, the Infestor is very pumped up, very vulnerable. The EMP oh. completely whiffs right there. And uh, the Vikings doing a great job against this Colossus, but of course you got to be careful with the Stalkers out there right on the field. They had cats not multitasking as best as they could. Those infestors just kind of hanging out towards the entrance of those base, those two that we looked at earlier. Are we going to see some Neural Parasite? One Neural Parasite. Oh, an infestor being misrided, but getting a fungal off that infestor that was Neural Parasiting going down. But Rain doing a great job of pumping out the Vikings. Marauders cleaning everything up, and all cats needs is a couple fungals and a couple of Neural Parasites, and Rain will do the rest. They're going to clean this up just fine. And now cats moving in with those two extra infestors and the supply depot's down this is going to be dangerous Ooh, he's going to go for these probes instead looks like and uh, each team has seen the other team's probe transfer so Katz is going to pretty much uh, destroy straight up at this nexus nope it's going to go back actually yeah he's kind of playing with fire there with uh, that observer rail, but uh the Observer's out of position, though, so he's going to uh, be able to get back in. But, uh, wow, they've really been able to, you know, get right in there. <laughs> and this is really chaos right now. Yeah, it really is. I, I didn't think they had another wave of units coming, but they are on the way. Cats with some lings with no upgrades and no speed. And a couple of Infestors with depleted energy. And you know what? If Team Stream Cheaters can get inside the infrastructure of Rain, this could be bad. He's even resorting to... Uh, landing his Vikings, and that's never a good sign. It's like almost as bad as pulling your drones off the line. And this is the problem with only having that one hatchery in your base. See, Katz is trying to make links. He doesn't even have speed. He's got a whole bunch of links. They might be able to do some decent buffering. Uh, not a whole lot of energy on these infestors, but uh, oh wow, Katz even actually going for the Terran, and Baz able to just lift off his orbital. One Colossus able to eat up most of these infested Terrans. And uh, things are looking sketchy, but they're going to go for the bus now. All these landing landed Vikings, the links coming in from behind, the Infestors likely to drop some Infested Terrans. They're just kind of sitting there. Neural Parasite does go down. It looks like things will stabilize right now. And we got to take a peek at the supplies because we just kind of need to take a tally 
uh, to try and figure out who's ahead here. Looks like Stream Cheaters are sitting at 62 and 80 supply against 74 and about 89 supply. So this is uh, certainly very even. The, the Harvester counts also very even with one player sitting around 35 and the other player sitting around 45 for each team respectively. Yeah, I'm really shocked that this game is this even. If we check out the bottom left, um, I'm not sure if something happened down there, but Rain's saturation in that uh, lower hand expansion is is close to nothing. He's got tons of mules and two SCVs. That's all he has. And actually, yeah, we are seeing three Marines from Baz, so I have a feeling uh, we might have seen a double Marine drop from Baz, but that's that could change the game. They had those bases so darn early, but if you can't mine from them, if you're losing all your workers there, it doesn't really matter if you have the bases there. And here comes some more aggression from Stream Cheaters. Colossi, Tank, Marine. Pretty scary. Yeah, and this might be too much to hold, though. We do have all of Cats and Festers taking out the leftmost expansion for Hack to Sex, so he's going to clear that up. But can they deal with this impending aggression right now? Cats with a lot of Infestors right underneath the army. The Vikings doing a good job taking out one of the Colossus. They're just continuing to wait by as much time as possible the tanks a lot of them unseating fungals going down the bio coming in and try and pick off these tanks vikings coming in trying to get that last colossus they do and now it is just tanks bio a couple of gateway units rain pushing forward there's some medivacs mixed in here still a couple of infestors out for cats and uh this is looking so close once again this is a real slug fest right now really is and luckily rain is just out of way of those tank siege the tank siege so he can still produce units and just kind of rally them back and collect his units and just move in but uh, these tanks are pretty scary they are rallying themselves team stream Peters is and you know cats he, he can't really make anything cats is just making lings i don't know if they're fast yet yeah they are fast but lings and infestors just hasn't really cut it so far especially against colossi uh, and against tanks and he does have a lot of festers out on the field. He's got about eight of them. Yeah, a lot in the natural, in the pocket expansion of Team Hack to, or Team Stream Cheaters, and forcing another lift off. And here we go, going for some neural parasites, taking both the Colossus and the Immortal. Looks like they're just going to plow through this. And if they can stabilize here, I really feel like they've done enough to damage the economies. And GG is coming out from Hack to Sex, and Baz is going to go ahead and leave the game as well. And so that's going to mean team. That's all right. Is that a first 2 0 of the day right there? I think it might have been. I know it was a 2 0. Not sure if it was the first one, but some that, that infester play. I said Cat's multitasking wasn't the best earlier, but that infester play really sealed the deal. He took out the Western expansion of the Protoss. He moves all the way past that and takes out the uh, the pocket base in the top right hand of the map with those infestors. Some great play there, as well as some uh, nice neural parasites there. Uh, for the defense.